What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you guys a heads up on a new event coming to Black Ops 4 later in just a few weeks here. Even though the current Grand Heist event is only a couple weeks old, plus I want to talk about some new weapons which have been found in the data files for Black Ops 4, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, one of the new things Treyarch has started to do, which I absolutely love, by the way, is this little roadmap or guide highlighting the contents of an operation or a event. And I have the current one on screen for you guys. Also, it tells us what are some things we can look forward to for the future. One of those being the Shamrock and All event, which is coming next month in March here, which is literally next week. So expect some type of a formal announcement for that very, very soon here maybe even within a few days because my guess is the Shamrock and Awe event is going to take place for the entire month of March, not just the weeks after St. Patrick's Day. Also, do not worry about not being able to complete the current operation stream because I'm pretty sure the Shamrock and Awe event will coincide with the Grand Heist operation, kind of like the Barbarian stream a few months ago. And so yeah, expect that announcement to happen very, very soon here. Now, of course, with a new event comes brand new weapons. And last week, two new weapons were found in the data files for Black Ops 4, and they were posted over on the Black Ops 4 subreddit, which I will link down below in the description. But we kind of knew about these weapons and saw what they looked like because they were shown in the Grand Heist Operation trailer. So first up here, we have a new melee weapon called the Demo Hammer. Now, this really isn't exactly a stereotypical melee weapon because in the leaked gameplay video, the player is loading the hammer with shotgun shells, making this the first ever melee weapon to reload with gun ammunition. Very, very innovative and cool if I'm going to be honest. However, I do not know if this weapon will act as a shotgun per se. Maybe when you hit a player with it, then the hammer will fire those shotgun shells into the body or the hammer can fire the shells from the hip. Either way though, I think it's a pretty cool, unique melee weapon. The second weapon we have is called the Sniper Mini 14, named after the Ruger Mini 14, which is a lightweight semi-automatic rifle. I'm not sure if it's going to be a sniper rifle or a tactical rifle though, because we can't see in the trailer there is a sniper scope on it, so maybe we can attach a sniper scope on that or something. Um, but in the trailer, the rifle does appear to fire at a fairly fast rate of fire. And it's kind of similar to the Dracon or the SVU, if I'm going to be honest. Either way, there really isn't much known about these leaked weapons. And like I said, I'm fairly certain, though, they will be coming in the Shamrock and All event stream, which we will have about 25 to 20 tiers, maybe. And yeah, we should know everything about that very, very soon here. Hopefully, these weapons are not locked behind supply drops specifically, which I don't even want to see the craziness and hecticness that would unfold if that were to happen. But I do think there will be Shamrock and all specific supply drops and loot items coming to Black Ops 4. And so yeah, with that being said, that's everything I have to say guys. Please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Also drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.